will. Once again, it's time for Boy Scout Troop 181's annual spaghetti dinner and fundraiser on Saturday, February 26, 2011 at the Downers Grove American Legion Post in Downers Grove, Illinois, Boy Scout Troop 181 was putting on its spaghetti dinner. This wonderful event, which is always held the fourth Saturday of February, featured a wide array of activities. Of course, the night featured a wonderful meal, including spaghetti, meatballs, salad, bread, tapioca pudding, fruit cocktail, and soda pop, plus their world-famous selection of some really awesome desserts. There was also a silent auction, a raffle where you put a ticket in a container by the item you'd like to win, plus many a door prize to win, as each guest received a special ticket upon entry to the dinner. One third of the funds collected today went toward Boy Scout Troop 181 to purchase gear and tents, etc. And one third of the funds went to members of Boy Scout Troop 181 with those funds going into their special scout accounts which pay for scouting and camping trips and adventures, etc and the remaining one-third of the funds collected for the dinner went to Heinz Veterans Affairs Hospital's athletic program, Windy City Athletics Association. Boy Scout Troop 181 is known for their work with veterans associations and organizations throughout the Chicagoland community. They also help out with Dive Heart, an organization helping people with special needs scuba dive. Boy Scout Troop 181 is sponsored by Downers Grove VFW Post 503. Well, we're here at Boy Scout Troop 181 Spaghetti Dinner here at the American Legion Post in Downers Grove, Illinois. And with me from Troop 181 is Carl. And Carl, this seems like a great event that you've had. We understand it's 11 years old and you've been doing this year after year. And tell us about this evening. Um, well, the spaghetti dinner is a fundraiser for the troop itself and for the Windy City Rollers. We donate some of the profit that goes to this event to the Windy City Rollers so that they can keep going. And we invite some of the Heinz guys, or from the Heinz VA, to come eat here because they don't get to go out so much. So it's a good thing for everybody. People come, people get to have the opportunity to get out more, and we get to make some money. So it's a Fantastic, and we see that you have a lot of different helpers and a lot of uh, kids from the troops. So, I mean, you, you've got a lot of volunteers, everyone helping today? Mm -hmm. Anyone interested to help is, is welcome to help. People need service hours, more, we're, we're more than happy to oblige them with those. Fantastic, and speaking of uh, things such as service, we understand, Carl, now you're working on an Eagle Leadership Project, is that right? Can you tell us about that? Um, the Eagle Project is a, pro a service project that you had to plan every aspect of, and um, to, you need this to plan this project so that you can get your Eagle Scout. My Eagle Project is I will be building five podiums for the VFW Post 503 to replace their old ones and a shelf for them. Oh, fantastic. And yeah, we also want to mention that this uh, troop is actually sponsored by the uh, Woodridge uh, VFW 503. So that, that's great that uh, you, your, your project is uh, working on podiums that they could use at their hall and their, for their events then. Yeah, I'm, whatever I can do to help the VFW, without them, I would have never joined this troop and I would never have gotten to do any of the opportunities that I have been. So whatever I can do to help the VFW that's given me so much and the service troops is more than... Is, it's very, it's very nice. Oh, fantastic. So then after this particular Eagle project, then, then you're planning on then becoming Eagle Scout, or are you already Eagle Scout? Or? I have to complete the project before I can get my Eagle Scout, but as soon as I'm done, I will be finished with my Eagle Scout requirements, and I will be an Eagle Scout. So, I, I mean, I'm sure you'll always be volunteering and involved with the troop, but after someone becomes an Eagle Scout, then what is their next step as far as the troop? Do they, do they move, move on then, or could they stay in the troop? Or? Um, until you're 18, you can stay in the troop and earn what are called palms, and the more merit, extra merit badges you earn, you earn, earn more palms. But if you're over 18, then you can stay in the venture crew, or you can become part of the adults in the troop. Fantastic. So is there any final thoughts about today, uh, Carl? 
I'm happy that everybody came and I hope it turns out well. Well, we're back and I'm now with Nick who plans to be an Eagle Scout, uh, so that's exciting. But we're here today, like we said, at the spaghetti dinner. And how many years have you been helping out with this, Nick? Um, well, I started when I was in Cub Scouts and kind of got into this troop, so I've been doing it before. But as a Boy Scout, about three or four years, so just a process that's fun and helpful and just a great time. Right, so part of what you're do doing today is, are you working like the spaghetti and meatball line, or you do different jobs when you, you volunteer? Or? Well, um, usually I go around and do different stuff, but this year uh, my family and my mom's kind of been doing the raffle, so I'm back in the dessert and the raffle, just uh, taking a chill and guarding all the good food, making sure nobody gets in, but uh, just pretty much just helping people out when I see it, but that's mainly what I'm doing in the back, just raffle and the dessert table. Oh, fantastic. Now, the raffles, are is this the table then of different things? Or? Well, um, in the back, they have a silent auction where people write down like bids and stuff for it, and they have a raffle where they get little tickets that they buy and put them in. And this, you get a ticket at the door for your for coming in. And this is uh, more. This is another kind of raffle where people come up, they pick tickets, and um, you just go and choose a prize. So, I, I, like a door prize, I guess, is what they call it. So, I'm, I'm, I, I was kind of in getting all the stuff together with that, so... Oh, fantastic. And we, as we mentioned, Nick, that you're going to be uh, becoming an Eagle Scout now, similar to Carl. Now, are you working on a pro project then? Is that it? Yeah, um, I'm helping with PADS. They're an organization that helps uh, give the homeless a place to sleep and a cot and food, breakfast, and lunch. And um, I'm designing shelves for them to store some of their stuff over at the First United Methodist Church on Maple. Um, and it just a process that takes a while, but uh, it's great to help out others uh, in need. So this is a great pro Eagle pro uh, project that I was doing, and I'm happy to be a part of it. So Fantastic. And I want to let our audience know, I think we always talk about going on the right path and the wrong path, and you're definitely going on the right path. And we, we appreciate that, starting from Cub Scouts and into Boy Scouts. And now we understand from Carl that it doesn't have to end with Eagle Scouts. There's other uh, groups and activities, so... Yeah, you can get involved with other stuff like, um, I don't know if my ego, I'm looking at more kind of doing stuff with the troop and more service and just kind of helping some of the younger kids get going and just kind of climb up the whole ladder and get going and do their eagle stuff. So it's kind of just a cycle that keeps going and going. Okay, any final thoughts, Nick? Uh, not really. If you're looking and you're hungry, why don't you come over uh, here and uh, grab some spaghetti and meatballs, all you can eat. So enjoy. Well, we're back here at Boy Scout Troop 181 Spaghetti Dinner, and they're doing a lot of great work, and some of the fun, well, actually, the fun, I think all of the funds, or most of the funds are going actually toward the Windy City Rollers, and uh, with uh, me is Bridget. Now, we understand, Bridget, that the Windy City Rollers are actually part of, it's the Heinz VA uh, Athletic Association, is that it? Right, it's called the Heinz uh, Veterans Hospital Physically Challenged Sports Program. Oh, fantastic. So is where we're talking that uh, ba basically that the money that are raised today is going to fund the different programs. Is that it? Right. Um, there's four national sporting events and uh, the, the team travels to those uh, throughout the United States and the monies that are raised tonight will help support their travel costs. Oh, fantastic. And we were mentioning now that you have the Windy City Rollers, and actually now that's expanded to the Windy, Windy City Athletic Association because you have both veterans that have special needs that are in wheelchairs, but also veterans that actually can walk and have different needs. That's correct. So we tried to be all-inclusive and, and take out the, the, the wheelchair aspect to include maybe those that have had head injuries or other disabilities, like you said, that are ambulatory as well. Mm -hmm. And for our listeners, of course, watching this on the internet all around the world, they're saying v v Heinz VA Hospital, that sounds pretty cool. So for our international v v viewers, tell us a little bit about uh, Heinz VA Hospital, what exactly it is. Well, it's a veterans hospital that, that treats uh, veterans throughout the Chicagoland area, and they've they've all served in the military at some point or other. Um, there's also female and uh, more female contingency now on our team, so representative of the female's um, role in the service. Um, our sports program uh, includes sporting uh, events such as uh, archery, air gun, swimming, uh, bowling, uh, cycling, uh, swimming, <laughs> I'm trying to think, track and field. So there's a multitude of uh, skiing, downhill skiing, cross-country skiing, 
And so there's a multitude of events that they can attend and be a part of and to show that uh, just because you have a disability, you can be involved in life and enjoy it and, and get out there and, and, and show your family and friends what you actually can do. And are these programs uh, available for people that, let's say, veterans that are a part of a rehabilitation program too as well? Right. Those those that have been maybe involved in rehab at, at Heinz, it's, it's an extension of the rehabilitation. So once they get stable, um, we try to give them opportunities to show how they can now take that into the community. And so we're, we're kind of building that bridge between the rehabilitation process within the hospital to their living at home and in the community and outside of the United States as well, or I mean outside the Illinois area as well. Okay, and finally, Bridget, for our list uh, viewers that we hope they would be interested in make maybe either making a donation or wanting to help, is there anything that the, the viewer out there can can do, whether making a donation or are you looking for volunteers or? Right. Um. In May fourteenth, we'll be having the um. Heinz Games, and that basically is a dress rehearsal for the national events, and that'll be at the Heinz property, and that starts at. Uh, uh, we do an opening ceremonies at 9 o'clock and then we go to about noon uh, displaying some of the events that they can participate in at the national um, events. And so if people would like to volunteer or see what the program's about, they can uh, call me. My number is 708-202-3936 and, uh, and get involved and then we'll hook them into. Actually, the Boy Scouts here every year come and donate their time and uh, help tremendously with with that event. <laughs> okay, any final thoughts? Sir? No, I just think this is a great event. The guys love to come, the guys and gals, and um, we just appreciate their support throughout the year. They, they do a great job. Well, we're back, and I'm now with Mr. John Joyce, who is a advocate for veterans, as well as probably serving his country for 34 years in the Air Force and the United States Marine Corps. And John, it's a pleasure and honor you could join me today and tell us a little bit about uh, what you do. And it's first of all, we mentioned that you're kind of an advocate, and you also help out. We understand with uh, the veterans at Heinz VA. Then, yes, sir. Uh in 1974, I went in the military, and I just got out in 2007. Uh, I was in the Marine Corps and the Air Force, active duty and reserve. Uh, I've been everywhere all over the world. Met a lot of courageous people. The military personnel that I worked with are above and beyond. They were all great, males, females, all branches of the service, um, all ethnic backgrounds. And uh, I took that with me after I left the uh, service, uh, working, uh, I help assist over at the Heinz VA and uh, the people over there are just great. Uh, what they do for the uh, disabled veterans over there and uh, regular veterans is, 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 the time they spend there is just outstanding. And uh, I like to, uh, a couple of my friends go there periodically, I'll drive them down there. Uh, Bridget, uh, I go over to her office quite a bit because she's, what she does over there for some of them uh, disabled veterans is outstanding with the physical therapy she provides and all the time and work she puts in. Uh, it's very heroic what she does. And uh, I got a fondness for all veterans and, and I always will be and appreciate everything they've done. and. And uh, this opportunity to come here and, and be with a lot of these <coughs> gentlemen and, and females that serve their country is, is just a way of us showing our respect for them. And also you got to give credit to all the uh, non-veteran organizations that are assisting here today, the Boy Scout Troop. <coughs> I've been here a couple, two, two three years now, and, and some of the uh, Boy Scouts are, are they're familiar to me now. I recognize them from year to year, and uh, they're just they're just outstanding the way they help out too. Oh, fantastic! And one thing we want to say, John, is not only are you a veteran, probably serving your country as well as well as my dad, but I think it's great that people, veterans, could not only serve their country in one way, but they could be advocates for other veterans and other guys and gals in the service and help them where they can. Yeah, I'm, I'm in about a half a dozen uh, military organizations, the VFW, National uh, American Legion, the uh, 
Air Force Sergeant Association, Marine Corps Association, uh, a couple others there. I, I forget, I'm always sending the dues out, I know that. But uh, that helps keep, keeps me in touch with current issues. And uh, one thing that, that I'm really uh, pushing that, that I want to see is, is more uh, job opportunities for the veterans, especially the young men and women coming home today from Iraq, from uh, Afghanistan. Their number one, you know, their unemployment rate is in double figures, and that's their number one issue is trying to get a job when they come back. And they're a little bit behind the eight ball when, when they do come back because a lot of their peers are already graduating college, they're already in the workforce, and now you got to catch up and try and get a job. And the more people out there that are helping, willing to help a vet is probably uh, the number one issue right now I think is unemployment for the vets. Well, fantastic John okay any final thoughts anything also we want to mention I don't know if we did that you probably served two tours in Iraq in 2004 and 2006 then. Yes uh, in 2004 I was up in Kirkuk uh, Air Base and in 2006 I was at Camp Sather at Baghdad uh, right outside the airport um, we trained the uh, Iraqi security forces up in, in uh, Kirkuk in 2004 and in 2006 we were uh, assisting with aircraft rescue and firefighting uh, right there near the air base. Oh, fantastic. So any final thoughts, John? Uh, just said anybody uh, listening to this interview, if, if you have any time or effort, uh, the VA is always willing to accept volunteers up there you know throughout the day you could just go up there there's an office up there that will give you some guidelines and, and let you know what you need to do and, and where to go to assist.